This video is part of a guide developed to help students, staff, and faculty members of Tarrant County College District to access their ebook collection as well as DRM free and public domain ebooks available online. Although I'm doing this video on a Kindle Fire, the same instructions should apply to the Kindle Fire HD. Let's start by how to download a DRM protected ebook into your Kindle Fire. To download a DRM protected ebook to your Kindle Fire, you will need to download it first to your computer, then move it to your device. To do so, you will need a third party app to be installed in the Kindle Fire and Adobe Digital Editions to be installed in your computer. The third party app that I use to access non Amazon DRM ebooks is called Aldaiko. It's spelled A L D I K O. To be able to install any third-party app in Amazon Kindle Fire, you have to first allow the installation of applications from unknown sources. To do so, tap on the top right corner of your Kindle Fire screen, then go to More, scroll down to Device, and allow the installation of applications, switch it to On. Now open your browser and search for Aldaiko Kindle Fire app. On the search results page, select Aldaiko website to download the latest version of Aldaiko app. Tap on the APK file in the attachment section. The download should start immediately. When the download completes, open the notification bar by touching the top left side on your Kindle Fire screen, then Tap on the APK file and then tap on install. You have now successfully installed Aldaiko on your Kindle Fire. Now let's move to the computer and download the DRM protected ebook. For this video, I'm downloading an ebook from one of the databases available at Tarrant County College Library called eBrary. eBrary grants me access to this book for up to 14 days. At this point, I have already installed Adobe Digital Editions and authorized my computer using free Adobe account. Now I have downloaded the DRM protected ebook to my Adobe Digital Editions library. I have 14 days left to read this ebook before the license expires. Now it's time to move it to the Kindle Fire. Plug your USB cable to the Kindle Fire and your computer and wait until Adobe Digital Editions find your device. Once the device shows up in the left section of Adobe Digital Editions, your device is ready to transfer. Simply drag your ebook from the Adobe Digital Editions library to your Kindle device. Once transfer completed, unplug your device from the computer and open Aldaiko application. Your ebook is now available on Aldaiko bookshelf. Because this ebook is not coming from Amazon store, you won't see it in your default Kindle bookshelf. The ebook will be available in Aldaiko bookshelf. Just run Aldaiko and look for the ebook in the digital editions folder. Before you can open a DRM protected ebook the first time, you have to authorize your device using free Adobe account. Now you can read your ebook using Aldaiko built in reader. Downloading public domain and DRM free ebooks is a little easier, as you can do it straight from your Kindle Fire device if your ebook is in EPUB format. If the ebook is MOBI format, you will have to download it first to your computer, then transfer it to your Kindle Fire device. Let's start by the EPUB format. In this example, I'm downloading an ebook from Project Gutenberg. Let's check the popular section and download Les Miserables de Victor Hugo. As you can see, this public domain ebook is available in many formats. 
we are interested in the EPUB format. As I said, you can download the EPUB version straight from the website to your Kindle Fire. Once the download completed, you can tap on the file and choose to move it to Aldaico bookshelf so you can easily find it next time. Now you have successfully downloaded a public domain ebook to your Kindle Fire. Let's move to the computer to download a MOBI format. In this video, I'm downloading Les Miserables from Project Gothenburg website. Once the download completed, you can use Windows Explorer to drag the ebook from your download folder to your document folder on your Kindle Fire. Unplug your Kindle Fire and go to Documents. You should see the, your ebook. That concludes this tutorial. Please leave a feedback in the comment section. Thank you.